welcome back to my channel. I am the Electro for Latina and today I have a very exciting full review prepared for you and it's going to be on the Milad DK300+. Now, this is a budget retro moped style e-bike and the things that stand out about it, this e-bike are its dual suspensions, the very powerful motor that peaks at 1200 watts, a big 20 ampere hour battery, it's super cool and functional front headlight and you get all of this for only $9.99. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. First of all, I think the design is similar to that of a Super 73, but also different from other moped style e-bikes. Its design is simple and minimalist. As you can see, it is a V-shaped design right here with an elongated part in the back. This is going to provide you with more stability when you're riding it. Also, the, the frame is made of titanium steel, making it super durable and solid. And because of that, it's, it weighs 108 pounds. Now, guys, not only is that material going to make it like more solid and durable and reliable, but it also makes me feel more planted during top speed runs and while off-roading. It's a gorgeous design. It has a payload capacity of 400 pounds. Now, this is incredible. Now, it comes with a cadence sensor. The height from the ground all the way to the top of the seat is 33.8 inches, and Milad estimates that it's going to fit riders from 5'2 all the way to 6'3. So now, I'm 5'11, at a 32 inch inseam and this is how it fits me it's really easy to throw a leg over the saddle and i am fully my feet are fully planted on the ground and then the reach to the handlebars it's super comfortable the cool thing about this style of handlebars is that you can adjust them to bring them closer to you or further away from you also as you can see let me show you there are spacers under here so what that means is that if you want more of a cafe racer style, like a lower handlebar, you can take the racers out and make it lower or just a little bit. Like you can really customize that to how short or how tall you want the handlebars. Guys, let me show you how to turn on the bike, okay? So first it has a button here to the side right here. This is by your battery charger right there. And then you just like close it. And then up here, you have to press in. When the button is green and in, that's when you can go to your display. You press this like middle button here. You hold it for a few seconds and then your screen is alive and you're ready to go on a ride. Woo! All right, guys, this is a top speed run. We're going to have two images side to side. <laughs> So you can see me but that so you can also see the road okay so this is gonna be on throttle uh yep i have it on speed mode five battery is fully charged and go Woo! the acceleration is slow but smooth i have a car right behind me i'm gonna let him go i'm on a 35 mile an hour road I'm going to get back on the road. Okay, so 28. Woo! 28 miles an hour. 29. Crouching down, guys. I see 30. Woo! 30 miles an hour. Come on, baby. I want to see 32. 30. 30.5, 30.8. Come on, baby. 31. Come on, come on, come on. 31.7. Woo! All right. <laughs> Woo! 31.7. Very smooth, gradual ramp up. This doesn't jerk you, but that's an excellent top speed for this. Woo! We're going on an off-roading test 
next. But before I want to show you the tires and the suspensions, okay? So the tires, they are Chaoyang 20 by four inches with a really nice knobby thread. Then we have a front suspension. So this is a dual crown with adjustable compression. We don't have a rebound adjustment over here, it's just a compression, but they have a really nice big travel of 127 millimeters, okay? So now I love the rear suspension. It's a very good quality and it's one of the highlights of this bike, guys. So this is a monoshock motorcycle suspension. It's a, as you can see, it's a dp 038 a air suspension in case you wanted to know the, the brand. Okay, so it has two features that to make sure you get the maximum comfort out of it, okay? So let me show you over here. So you have this spring that you can twist to either uh, make it make the travel shorter or longer. Obviously, the, the, the longer the travel, the more plush of a suspension it's going to be. So you can customize it depending on your weight. So that's like number one. And then the second function, if you can come over here. So this is the, your air shock right here and it has a knob. So if you twist to the, to the left, you can like let some air out. And if you twist to the right, then it, it, it finishes like letting air out. So guys, this bike comes with like no air. Okay, so if you want to put air in, you're gonna need a special shock air pump, okay? Do not use a regular tire pump because, because you can just blow out your suspension, okay? So if you wanna make it firmer, you're gonna put more air. If you wanna make it softer, you are going to remove air, okay? So these are like two very good adjustments you can make for the suspension. And just go as fast as I want. Okay, let me take a little bit of a leeway here. Ah! Oh my god, this is the really, really steep part, and uh, I probably need more of a leeway. I have to like get down to push. Yeah, this is like a 10 degree. Oh my god, I'm having to push it up. So, yeah, so it needs more of like a runway, I mean, and it probably needs help like pedaling. So, okay, we're past that. <laughs> okay, now I can. I can pedal here too. Woo! Help it a little bit more. Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's pedal up. Let's pedal up. Oh my god. We made it. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. And now it's flat here. Let me rip it. I want to be cautious too because I mean, there's a lot of vegetation. Oh! Oh my god. I almost fell, guys. Oh my god. There's a lot of vegetation. So it's hard to see where you're going and then you can just find a big rock that you didn't even see and it can be dangerous. Oh my God. Woo. So I'm wearing my, <laughs> so bumpy guys. It's funny cause like it gets like really bumpy and then it's like gets a little flat with no bumps. <laughs> wow. So yeah, no, I definitely want to come back to keep doing this riding over here oh my gosh like I was saying I'm so glad that I have like flat out on both tires uh, because yeah there this is oh oh my god okay okay burly going burly going oh come on Mila let me pedal and help you oh, okay we made it so yeah if you live in a really 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 hilly area like San Francisco uh, I don't think this is the bike for you. But, you know, if you live in like wavy terrain, like some hills, it's, uh, yeah, it has like all the torque that you're gonna need. All right, so we got, ouch! <laughs> oh, my foot got, it like hit something hard. So this is the other, oh my God, bumpy. This is the other thing about, okay, now I'm going back down. And I'm gonna find John all the way down. The, uh, the headlight to his, his bike became loose uh, because we're doing this treacherous terrain. So he's like down there fixing it. Oh my God. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 
I my my leg got like it hit some spiky stuff and that hurt. Oh. <laughs> so guys, it's like really important that you wear full closed shoes. I'm wearing boots. Uh for riding, I have seen YouTubers riding e-bikes going hard. Oh my god, super bumpy again. And uh, with like open toe sandals. I'm like, really? I would have really hurt my foot back there. And I'm wearing I'm glad I'm wearing pants too. They're really skinny. They're they're leggings. Oh, but better than wearing shorts and having my skin exposed. I mean, especially if you're gonna be doing crazy stuff <laughs> oh my god. like we do in this channel <laughs> oh my god guys the adventures huh okay oh, oh. you know what this is just gonna make me a all this practice a better off-roader rider <laughs> oh my god I hope this I hope my GoPro is like showing a bit of how treacherous this stuff is now i'm scared of putting my foot down because i don't want it hitting like spines or getting hit on something ow <laughs> oh my god all right i think i'm ready to get back to the road guys <laughs> i see john thank god we're close Woo! <laughs> okay let's give it that full twist run oh milan made it all the way up yes Woo! It survived! Can't believe it! Something to note, the turning radius of this bike is reduced. See, because of the dual crown suspension. Like, if you want to do a tight turn, this is all... There's no more. And it's because of, like, this, like, spacers here. And they put them... They're, like, soft rubber, so they don't scrape on your frame. But... So just be aware of that. There are no tight... This is the most I can turn. All right, we found a way to get through this jungle here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna let myself go. It's pretty steep here. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, not enough torque. Oh! Well, and to be fair, I didn't have enough leeway. Oh, I didn't have a run start, so. <sighs> All right. So this bike doesn't have the most powerful torque. I would say, yeah, and like I said, you, you need a little bit of a runway, all right, and we're finally on the cement path, oh my god, <laughs> wow, that was intense, <sighs> Woo. now let me tell you about the electrical system, the motor is independently produced by Milad, but it maintains the same high quality configuration as the MX US motors that they use in their DK300 Max. So this is a 48 volt, 750 watt motor that peaks at 1200 watts. Very nice. This is possible due to the 25 amp controller that is discreetly lodged under the seat, protecting it from the elements. Now, the battery is also independently produced by Milad. This is a 48 volt, 20 amp per hour battery, and they estimate a range of up to 100 miles. Now, this is totally exaggerated because one, nobody's going to pedal this bike or they're not going to be pedaling it that much and two is just too much right so i'm i'm thinking on throttle alone you'll probably be getting around 40 miles of range now the torque of this e-bike is 85 newton meters most e-bikes come with either a 20 amp controller or a 22 amp controller so i'm very happy to see that mila is using a 25 amp controller and it does feel peppy this little bike okay so now let me show you the display okay so this is a 2.3 inches led waterproof display and it's set all the way to the, to the left and then let me show you the the functions so over here you have your power so you're going to be able to see the watts that you're pulling then down here this is your battery bars as you can see it's it's one two three six it's fully charged then this is your assist mode here if you go to zero, your, your throttle is not going to work. 
but then it, it's live starting at pedal assist. One, two, three, four, five pedal assist. Very nice. So then over here on the top, this is going to be your speed. It's already set at miles per hour. And then under here, your odometer, as you can see, we have 23 miles. So now while we're doing the electrical components, let me show you the front headlight. Okay, so this is a super cool headlight guys and what i like is that this is like this is a i don't know it has weight to it it's just so nice and it comes with a low beam and a high beam like come here to the front john so you can show it it's a really bright so that is the low beam and then the high oh, okay i can't even see it right now it's <laughs> it's too bright guys and it also i'm going to show you in the dark when we get back home but it also comes with a horn that I, doesn't sound like a horn. It sounds more like a beep, like, but it's loud. So people are gonna hear you. You know, while we're here, let me just show you the cockpit. Come over here. So, okay. So the thing about the display being all the way on the left is that, and it's small, but it's very visible right now in like bright sunlight. Guys, it's going to allow on this BMX style handlebars, you're gonna have so much space left for accessories. Now, this came with the bike, it's a cell phone holder, but it also has a charger. Okay, so this is a big battery, so you're probably gonna to wanna to charge it for your phone while you're going long distances. Now, also on the left and right, we have your hand grips. Okay, this is one of the things I do not like about this bike. The hand grips are just really, they feel cheap and they're hard, okay? Uh, but here we have a half twist throttle. And then uh, we have a Shimano SIS, SIS shifter, which is really typical uh, with most e-bikes, I would say, but it's very crisp, it shifts really good. And you can skip, mul you can switch multiple gears at a time. You don't have to do one by one. Okay, and then, and then of course, this is your switch right here for low and high beam. It also has a daytime running function. Super cool. And then here, like we said, this is your horn button. And then back here, of course, we have your hydraulic brake lever. So these are also Mila branded and they feel good, you know, and I wear gloves, guys. You, you should wear gloves too. So the grips are gonna feel better and brake levers are gonna feel better with gloves. But no, it's it's pretty good. All right, guys, this is the pedal assist test. So the throttle is not live at zero, uh, but I have it on pedal assist one, okay? So we're gonna see how fast we can go. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, so this is super uncomfortable for pedaling. Uh, the, the battery is pretty wide on the front, so my, my legs are hitting that. And then, yeah, with the saddle, I'm way too low. I mean, <clears throat> as you can see, my knees are completely bent, but I got to 16 miles an hour. Pedal assist too. Okay, here comes the little hamster. Woo! 18, 19, 20. Wow, this is powerful, even at 21.7, 22. Wow, that was only pedal assist too. Let's go to three. Woo! Three. 21, 22, 23, 24 on pedal assist three. Pedal assist four. Vamanos. I have it on speed gear on the gear seven uh and i am going pedaling now 27 miles an hour 28 miles an hour and i am just moving the turning the pedals 29 miles an hour Ahora voy rapidísimo, John. okay pedal says five Let's go! Woo! 27! 28! Total goes, goes pedal! 29! Woo! 30! Come on, John! Come on! Pedal! Pedal! 31! Woo! 31.2! Woo! Tensor. So in this test, we're going to 
check how fast the motor engages okay so first pedaling so obviously i'm stopped at zero let's see how fast it goes one two three go all right all right oh like two seconds okay so now i'm gonna stop stop and then pedal again okay that reactor right away okay that wasn't bad okay i'm gonna stop again stop one two three go okay not bad guys actually pretty darn good okay now on throttle i'm going to slow down okay i'm not pedaling not throttling one two three throttle okay it's right away on the throttle again not doing anything twist yeah the on the throttle it's immediate and on the pedal assist if you are stopped that's when it's going to take about a second to engage this is the brake test guys 20 21 22 23 24 25 and break Woo! <laughs> excellent stopping power dual piston hydraulic brakes let me show you they come with 160 millimeter rotors but and you would think like oh i wish they had 180 well like no these are so thick they are bitey they are smooth they are branded milan excellent stopping power milan was established back in 2015 so but what they had been doing was manufacturing and building evacs for other companies so they have been working behind the scenes for well-established and renowned e-bike brands. So it was up until last year that they decided to launch their own brand, taking advantage of all the years of experience and everything they have learned from uh, in the e-bike industry. So because they launched their own brand last year, 2023, this is why it's not a very well-known e-bike brand yet. But since they launched, they have been receiving overwhelmingly positive feedback from the market. And guys, oh, so their mission is to produce the highest quality e-bikes at the most affordable prices. And also by providing the highest quality service and I customer service, and I can attest to that because their communication is on spot. They're always getting right back to me. They're there. If there's like any, any concern, any questions, they're there super prompt and super good. I am so excited to collaborate with a company such as Milad. We made it guys. So 23 miles and guys, out of the six bars, we still have four bars left. 23 miles so oh my god this was like barely uh, like most of it was done on throttle so you're gonna get easy 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 50 miles on throttle alone freaking impressive okay okay so the le my least favorite thing that i don't like about this bike is the seat and i have heard other youtubers like complaining about it they're right it is like super narrow there is like really like no way to make yourself comfortable and it's pretty short so i kept going all the way back to towards the hump where it's like wider and stuff and it's just really uncomfortable good thing is like it's really easy to like exchange the seat make a custom comfy seat you can add some height to it too now Mila estimates the 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 height of this bike be anywhere between 5'3 and 6'2 guys this is not for tall people okay so i'm 5'11 and i felt big on this bike and uh, just because of my, my legs like even just even without pedaling just like putting them on the pedal they were like too scrunched up so my knees started like being uncomfortable after uh, just towards the end and i think it's because i like pedal too but uh but yeah so this is very approachable but this is for shorter people i would say like up to my height that would be like the cutoff and then 
Something that I love about this e-bike, it guys, it's so agile and nimble. It's like it's fairly close to the ground, so it's just so yeah, agile is the best way. I think this is the most agile bike I have ever tried in this 20 by 4 inch tire category. Um, and then let me show you the lights. I know I tried to show you the lights what, earlier, but it was too too bright. So come on over, John. And okay, so you you have to click the up button for the lights to turn on. Oh, <laughs> okay. So the I, the bike turned off. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna press on the up button for a few seconds and see now the front light engages it's so beautiful i love it it's so bright i am going to make a night riding video okay for you guys so let me put the low beam right so if you want to like look at the road like straight down and then you have your high beam and this is going to be for cars to see you right and then let's see if you can see it like on the on the wall like it's illuminating the wall yeah pretty good and then let's go look at the brake light so once you turn the front light on the brake light also comes up so you're always going to have this rear light and then when you press the brake lever it flashes too so really nice security features here and my butt hurts from the uncomfortable seat but we got 23 miles in so very happy with this bike so final thoughts is that this is an incredible e-bike at 999 it comes with a very powerful motor that peaks at 1200 watts the brakes are fantastic the dual suspensions are like our high quality it will, it will give you a plush ride it comes with a big battery i mean i cannot believe everything that you get with this e-bike and the safety features okay so it comes with both integrated headlights like i said the front light has a daytime running light low and high beams a horn i mean it even comes with it with a cell phone holder with a charger guys if you like the looks of this bike and at 999 dollars this is a no-brainer now on the flip side it is a very heavy bike so it's not going to be very portable right at 108 pounds including the battery but then again on the other side you get a very sturdy and durable safe frame that's not going to flex or break on you um, metal fender so i thought i love metal fenders like i i, I did I, I think in my opinion they look high end but you know they i did hear them clang a little bit back there a little bit like while off-roading they are very well placed and so there is like a good spacing in between the tire and the metal fender so it's not going to rub but yes they can clang so now i do prefer a plastic fender now let me show you john come on over over here so on this side i, I haven't showed you this but so we have seven gears they're shimano so this is a tourney tc derailleur and uh, it comes with a derailleur guard i like that your cassette and then it, this is a really small chain ring so you definitely get ghost pedaling but again you're not going to be pedaling much on an e-bike like this and um, then oh i usually prefer like higher quality derailleurs but again since you're not going to be pedaling very much that derailleur is going to work just fine now i want to show you something else right here on the front so the um a, a viewer asked me to show him this so these are the heavy duty bolts right here that the front wheel attaches to they feel pretty good and then there's not a lot of weight on the front wheel because this is not a dual motor you don't have a motor in here so yeah guys so this is it if you have any questions about this incredible little bike please let me know down in the comments below also i will leave a an affiliate link if you're interested in buying this bike at no additional cost to you but this really helps support the electrify latina channel so we can keep doing videos like this one guys always remember whatever you're doing happy riding